Hi guys, it's Sterling Spectre here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to mine Ethereum Classic. So you've all heard of Ethereum mining, but you might not have heard of Ethereum Classic mining. There is a difference. Ethereum Classic was the original Ethereum blockchain and coin. However, due to a hack back in 2015, the Ethereum team decided to split, and this is why we have two Ethereum coins. The Ethereum Classic coin is still maintained and is managed by some of the original Ethereum team, and the other Ethereum coin is managed by the half of the original team. So the reason that I'm making this video is that lately I've seen Ethereum Classic at the third place on whattomine.com. So there's been a lot of talk in the community around which coins will survive the Ethereum merger, and a lot of people think that this could be the best one when it comes down to the most profitable coin after the merge. So I'm making this video for those who want to start mining it now, and for those who are looking to mine it after the merge. This version of Ethereum works very similarly to how the main Ethereum coin works, so there's not much difference between the two. Now let's get into how to mine the Ethereum Classic. The first thing we want to do is set up an Ethereum Classic wallet. So there are many wallets out there. If we go to the Ethereum Classic website, we can see multiple wallets that can hold the coin. There is web wallets, hardware, and software wallets. So you guys can choose whichever one you want, but for the simplest way to mine, I normally mine into a crypto exchange, such as Binance or Coinbase. So to do this, you want to go over to the binance.com and click the login. Once there, you want to click on the wallet, and go to the fear and spot tab next just type in etc into the search bar and the ethereum classic coin will show up then you want to click deposit on the far right and it will take you to the wallet page it auto generates a wallet address as you can see here now we have the wallet generated we can move on to how to set up the computer to mine first we need to head over to twominers.com and scroll down to find the ethereum classic tab Next, scroll down to find the join pool button and then find the how to start button. So once here, we already see that we've done the first step of creating a wallet. Now we want to download a miner. So you can use any of these miners, but I prefer T-Rex miner. So if we just type in T-Rex miner into the search bar, then click on the GitHub, we can download the latest version of T-Rex miner. Once we download, we want to open the file and look for a file with the name etc 2 miners then we want to right click and edit the file. It will ask you about virus protection, but it's perfectly fine as it always has to ask when it comes to the command programs. Just click more info and run anyway. So this is our miner file, which we'll use to mine and we have to edit it depending on the server you want to use. This part is the server number. And if we go back to the two miners website, we can find which server to use. So here there are three different ones depending on your continent. So you want to find and copy whichever one corresponds to your continent. Then we want to go ahead and paste it over the server text in a minor file like this. Next, we need to copy our wallet from Binance and then paste it over the wallet in the minor file like this. Last thing we want to do is set a password for the miner, or you can just leave it as X if you're lazy. Now exit out the file and click save and it should all be ready to start mining. If you double click the file now, it will load your GPUs into the software and start mining. It should look like this with a bunch of command programs running. So you'll know if you've done it right, as it will confirm a share after a couple of minutes of running the program. Now, if you want to monitor your mining, all you have to do is go back to the two miners page and paste your wallet address into the search bar at the top of the screen. It should bring you to a page that looks like this and displays everything you need to know about how your mining is going. Now, the last thing we want to do is set up the mining payout. This just lets the website know how much Ethereum Classic to mine before it's paid into your Binance wallet. All you have to do is input your IP address here and you'll be able to change the payout limit. So if any of these steps haven't worked for you, then feel free to join the Discord where I help help people with their mining problems or just general mining questions. The link for that Discord is in the description of this video. I'll try my best to answer all questions you guys have. Lastly, let's just quickly go through the profitability of Ethereum Classic. The website 2CryptoCalc is one of the best for this, and I'm just using a hash rate from 13090 card. As you can see, we get around 15 cents per hour, which gives us around $3.20 a day. If we look at the 30 days, we can see that that's around $100 worth of Ethereum Classic to be mined in a month. If you have a large hash rate, you can also choose to solo mine and it will tell you roughly how many blocks you can mine. With 13090, we can find a block every 30 days, which is worth around $110. That's a little bit more than mining in a pool, but only really works if you have a large hash rate. 
So I hope you guys have managed to start mining Ethereum Classic and have not run into any problems. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video for more crypto mining content.